All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Forged Battalion. It's uh, the latest RTS by the people that made the uh, 8-Bit Armies game, I believe, Petroglyph. Uh, they make pretty great RTSs. I mean, they're a little bit uh, bare bonesy. I'm just going to take us back. I wanted to double check this one. I think they're the people that made the 8-Bit Armies. Uh, Petroglyph. Yeah, 8-Bit Armies, 8-Bit Arena, or... Wow. World of Goo? Or not World of Goo, Grey Goo, sorry, brain. A couple other ones, but yeah, effectively it's a bunch of Westwood uh, developers, from what I remember, that more or less have have um, been trying to kind of retake uh, their old legacy by making indie RTSs. And they're pretty good. Unfortunately, Forge Battalion is early access, so this is not going to be a uh, full series, which kind of sucks. I'm pretty much just going to play the campaign, and then maybe some skirmishes just because. But the cool thing about Forge Battalion before we begin is, ha, this. Um, effectively, you get to make your own units. I'm just going to close that. Hopefully, I can figure this out at a later date. But effectively, you can combine uh, like unit type, weapon type, support, weapon movement. You can craft your own units to work with uh, and cobble them together. Using parts from this tech tree, which is, oh boy going to take some time. So we have 70 research points apparently. I've got a cannon, anti-tank gun, anti-material gun, can't get the rocket launcher. We've also got improved armor, but that's 90. So let's get the, um... Oh, damage type. So these work differently on different, um... different vehicles. So cannon is more effective, but I think I'm gonna get artillery. Oh no, I already have the artillery. Okay, well, I could get the anti-tank gun, but let's, let's get the cannon customized. Okay, so we've got, you know, people, jeeps, artillery tank, light tank. Let's do a new vehicle with the cannon. I'm not sure... Oh, right, I have to name this, so... I'm just gonna make it basic. There we go. So we have the light tank, which I think has... I don't even know what vehicle this has. Actually, it looks like the light tank has the same thing. Okay. Uh, yes. So it's the same thing as the cannon tank. And you have to hit this to actually add it to your current factory. We've got the light drone. Can only have a machine gun. We've also got turrets. Let's do a new turret with the cannon. I'm just filling this out because... So, effectively, you can kind of mix and match parts together. So, if you want to have, you know, machine gun tanks or artillery tanks or whatnot. Actually, there's no machine gun tanks, interestingly enough. I don't think I have anything for this. But this is a this is kind of a cool thing that I really liked and I wanted to show that off. Anyway, let's do the campaign. So, mission one uh, looks about the same. Let's just do this. I, I'm not going to care about lore. Uh... Mainly because the campaign's not even done. Uh, you know, if they have... This is oh. the HQ. It controls all the functions of the MMP. With this, we can construct above-ground factories and support structures. Okay, yeah, that wasn't much. Can I pause? No, I can't pause. Well, I can pause by doing this. Options. I want to see if we can turn up the graphics. Yeah, anti-aliasing specifically. I was noticing it was a little... Grubby. Okay. Audio, it's about the same. Master. Embiggen mouse pointers. That's that's cute. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I got a bunch of infantry. Uh, let's do structures. What can I make? Uh, let's see. Refinery. Resources from the harvester. I don't think I have anything else. I'll kind of cram it over here next to this. Okay, so we also have power plant. Makes sense. Ah, oh, let's see. Where's power? There's money. I don't see anything about power here, which is a little concerning, but it should be okay. Hey, where's my power meter? Oh, this is my power meter right here. I'm blind. Okay, power. These factories can build all kinds of things, but we don't know how yet. Okay, so currently, let's go light vehicle. Factory. Can I just cram it next to my my own? I could. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not going to pay attention to the plot too much because it doesn't look like it's in there. It's just like, this is your base. We're not sure how it works. It's like, I... Um, maybe we want to have more than that. I don't know. 
But yeah, let's let's get some light vehicles out. I already started with some infantry. I'm just gonna start getting base control. I assume my enemy's right light over there. Factory complete. Okay, what else do I have? Comm center. Very, very pricey power-wise. Speaking of power, let's cram it over here. I don't know how far out I have to worry about building. Anyway, units. So I've got light vehicles. Ah, so I can only get some MG buggies. Okay. I've got a fair amount of money. Uh, let's see. Power so, complete. capture outpost. Looks like you're getting the hang of that collective tech. Don't let up. We'll need more than that to send them packing. Constructing. Okay, so capture outposts, and it shows you the requirements. So I kind of wish it just did it by name. Heavy ground units, those, and rocket bar bombardments. Okay, looks pretty basic. I actually really like the visual style. It's got kind of this like um, Hi, Commander. cartoony let's look go. to it. Anyway, let's let's see if we can go do Move some out. damage to him Scouting early. Ahead. This could go very very poorly for me, but I mean, eh. I've got two of these guys hanging around out here. I'm curious what outposts are. Recon. Their main camp should be around here somewhere. Com center complete. Outpost captured now available. And more power plants. Constructing. I can't imagine these guys are going to do uh, much damage to his main base, but sure we I don't even know what Target. kind of defenses he's working with. Ho! Scavengers. Push them out now. Time to move. Okay. okay. Power plant complete. So the bad news is, he has uh, a lot more units than I do. Warning: environmental hazard. Warning: environmental hazard. Environmental Constructing. hazard? I don't know. I don't even know if we have outposts yet. We might, but I'm gonna look around. I was hoping I could just run in and do some damage to him, but it looks like uh, he might have some, uh, he might have a bit of an advantage on me. I could try the rocket thing. It doesn't look like we have Heavy these. factory complete. Can I just build a refinery down here? Yeah, so I have no idea where outposts are. See, I should have enough power so that I'm going to get an airfield. Okay, so cannons. And artillery. We've got plenty of money. I'm probably going to want to build... As soon as I'm done with the airfield, I'm probably just going to start spitting refineries. Orders. We'll go from there. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to... Um, build an outpost. I can build more harvesters. You know, speaking of harvesters, let's make two of them. Cue those up. Okay, structures... Well, want to build that. Oh, won't let me build it if I don't have enough power. That's actually really helpful. Constructing. But yeah, it looks like I'm more or less just going to have to mass all of my units and just go raid him. Uh, let's see. Do we have outposts anywhere? Because that's, that's the question. If I can capture an outpost, I will gladly do it. Confirmed. In flight. But... I have yet to see anything that looks even remotely close to outposty in this mix. Go ahead. A lot of minerals, Moving but I think I'm just going to have to run for that. I see it. But yeah, I'll just run around until I find something that looks outpostish. I really like this visual style. The 8 bit army's style was kind of nice, but um, this, this feels a lot better. Maybe a bit on the uh, fuzzy side. Here, Commander. Standing by. Power plant complete. Yeah, a little bit on the fuzzy side, but I actually really appreciate that. I still don't see any outpost looking things around here. On it. Right away. Location received. Confirmed. In flight. Just kinda nothing. Okay. Yeah, so I'd like environmental hazard. I'm not entirely sure what the environmental hazard is. Warning. It, oh. Environmental hazard. It's that. They're dumb. Uh oh. Light factory under attack. Awaiting orders. 
Repairing. So he came to attack. Luckily, I had units left over, but, uh... Repairing. Oops. Damn it. Headquarters under attack. Well, uh, it's... Factory under attack. Make some of these. Luckily, they're just kind of going for my headquarters, which really isn't that big of a deal. AI might be kind of goofy here. Yeah, let's bring my uh, military back. It looks like it's mostly infantry dudes. So it might just be a good idea to... Um... Light factory under attack. This is just silly looking. Under attack. Yeah, I think I'm mostly just going to focus on uh, cannon tanks. Okay. How's cannon mount? Main question is... Yeah, infantry seems to be good against infantry. Actually, machine guns good against infantry. That's just kind of baseline how this is going to work. Hopefully I can get repair units at some point. That would be nice. Engines primed. Well, en route. considering he just Sorry. went after me and most of his units were dumb, Going. maybe I can go I can go after him. Right away. Or everything's just going to go down flames yep. and sadness. I don't know. Anyway, let's start sending these guys it. over here. I want to make, uh... Can't... Oh, I can make cannon turrets. Oh, I need a barracks for it. Constructing. That's why I can't, uh, build defenses. I will keep that in mind in the future. And he has a rocket silo. Okay. Well, this is a red alert style game, through and through. Unfortunately, my I, I really wish I could actually set like kind of a basic AI for uh, what my units will attack. Because currently they don't have one. Okay, I gotta get one of these. And more or less, just gonna hope my guys can hit them where it hurts. Okay. I don't really... There's a lot going on here, and I'm just trying to kill whatever. Oh, he's got flame turrets. You should just back off. They don't really attack what I want them to attack, do they? They just kind of attack whatever. Good to know. Okay, well, let's uh, bring in some reinforcements and break his stuff. He has a very big base of kind of nothing. But I guess that's okay, too. Okay, yeah, more artillery, maybe, in the future. Definitely need different helicopter types. I'm gonna have my tanks focus on the nearby units. Unfortunately, these guys are very, just, beefy. Well, I, mean, I more or less have this in the bag. I'm just gonna send my guys this way. Ah, there we go. How do I use... I don't know. Let me guess. Are my other harvesters harvesting? Oh yeah, they are. They are harvesting away. I'm just going to slowly demolish his base. Yeah, he's got these really annoying... I should get anti-air. ASAP. Go ahead. Let me see. 
Where is he? Yeah, he's got a bunch of these anti-air things. Ideally, what I should do is probably take out his... I mean, the easy general strategy is to go for his his power. It wrecks his base. Makes it so they can't go any after anything. Yeah, so it looks like if I try and tell my guys who to attack, they kind of don't. Which sucks a bit. Okay, well, whatever. We, we've got this in the bag. Who's shooting me? The heavy rocket buggy. Well, we'll be okay. I need some building destructors, though. Can I have, like, a battering ram or something? I'd probably do the trick. And the artillery seems to be broken, too. I guess artillery kind of is the building buster. Ready for target. Okay, let's work on this. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably get a bunch of just anti-air... Um, anti-air drones for the future. Okay, seriously, how do I... How do I use you? Options? No. Resume. Ah! Launched. Well, that that's it right there. I'm practically staring at this stuff. Well, let's build some more of these and build some more of the everythings. I've kind of got money for it. This feels very, um... Indistinct. I probably should have... I, I should probably actually bring my tanks in. But, uh, it's kind of obnoxious that the AI is just like, pop up a building here, pop up a building here, pop up a building here, and I'm just like, ah, good luck, my massive units. I'd love to see somebody that's actually good at one of these games play it at some point. Like, I feel like, uh, I, I grew up with, uh, the Red Alert games. What is our mission? But it does kind of feel like, uh, this isn't quite what I'm used to. There's something there's something about it that feels fiddly. And I don't have Yes. Scouting ahead. I don't quite ride. have that uh like I can't quite put my finger on why. But it's okay. I don't even really know what his plan is here. Though nice thing is you can rebuild your headquarters whenever you want. I still don't know how to make an outpost though. Maybe outposts are something that we get at a later date. I don't know. Yeah, you can only have one on the map, but th yeah, that's probably why he's, um... That's probably why he's, uh, still trying to get money here. Though, he's got to be out of money by this point. Because there's no way you'd be able to afford all this stuff. Right? I guess really what I should do is actually focus on his heavy factory. He takes that out. He can't build anything more. Probably should have done that from the very beginning, but... I had victory in the bag right from the get-go. It was impressive when I first came, first found that, like, giant field of enemies. I'm like, oh, that's a problem. So what's... The best way to do this is probably expand... Like, turtle expansions... And then as soon as he sends an attack wave, then go in. We're done for. Send word to General Carter. Also, I hope they expand the plot somehow, because that was kind of nothing. Okay, so I get base award, unit bonus, structure bonus, economy bonus. I don't know. Be nice to see which ways give me the most. Technically, if I'm on a higher difficulty, we'll get more research points. I'm not sure if we want that. Anyway, let's go back to the faction creator. So, tech tree. I have things. So, I have improved armor. It's probably a good idea. Ah, uh, how much? I got 138. So, let's let's get the improved armor. Uh, or not? Uh, I might be stuck in with it. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was hoping I'd be able to confirm that or not. Because in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have. We also have... Oh, yeah. Kind of worked out. Let's see. Insulation, nuclear damage. 
Oh, some of these are nice. Lock technology tier. Yeah, so we want to get all of these, because some of these are just straight up passive, like power output up to 450 from all power plants. So, like, that's something I want to save up for, probably. But yeah, 600. Fusion beams, subatomic restructuring. Wait. Oh, this is the one we want. Add subatomic restructuring beam mount to turret chassis. Repairs target or nearby units. Targeted or nearby units over time. Uh, so that's an infantry or a turret thing. So th does that only work for this? So I could effectively make healer, uni uh, healer units. Or... Uh, I could make healer units or... Do that. Infantry zero. Not that much more expensive. Can I just modify this one? Okay, cool. So I can I can add some extra defense. Let's not bother with the uh, extra armor on the artillery. Does it even change anything? Oh, it's barely anything. It's it. Nope. Why did I do that? We don't have anything for movement. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I'll have to learn more about this as we go along. Can I... Okay, so support movement. So I can't increase its uh, defense at all, but that's fine. Okay, faction changes are saved. Cool. So I guess we've got another mission, but I think this is probably going to be uh, one mission per episode, then I'll just go do skirmishes for a while. So it's a bit bare bones. The AI feels kind of basic. And... Uh, yeah, no, the AI feels kind of fiddly basic i i hope it gets a little bit more interesting because currently it was just like well chuck a giant wave of enemies at them and there wasn't like much variance maybe that's my fault maybe that's other things who knows but uh either way i am liking this uh i want to see more and the main reason why i'm like super interested in this game is the faction creator like that seems really cool and i bet playing this with um like online multiplayer would be fine fine interesting maybe even more fun Main problem is, I'm just not that kind of person. I'm much more of a PvE kind of guy. So I'll just kind of crush what I can and then come back to this later when it's fully done. For now, though, I guess if you guys liked Forge Battalion in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And uh, if you want to see more, I'm going to finish every uh, every mission available, which I guess is only five for now. And then we'll come back to, uh, to do some skirmishes just to see if we can max out the tech tree and make something truly ridiculous. Hopefully there's more unit types than just this, too. Because, like, it'd be really nice if there was, like, super tanks with multiple turret mounts and you can make, like, roving fortresses that are hella expensive. That would be, that would be, like, the ideal for me. But it would probably be super unbalanced. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.